My dog came back from the woods smelling of skunk. So I gave him a good wash in the tub outside and things were better. We took a walk down the street and met another, another dog, a big one. They snarled at one another and then they made their peace. After a good walk, we turned around and went back home. Robbie, the dog, went to sleep in his corner and I did some paperwork. I was going along just fine until there was a knock on the door. I answered it and it was my ex-wife. She said she had come for the dog and I said that wasn't in the agreement. She said she had bought the dog and it was hers. I said, Robbie loved me. She said, a dog doesn't know what love is. This is the dog's home, his neighborhood, I said. He'll adapt to his new home in a day, she said. You don't give this dog real feelings about anything, I said. He's my dog for Christ's sake, she said. He's my dog. He comes when I call him. He sits when I tell him to. He fetches. He sleeps when I sleep. We're like married to each other, I said. And now he wants to divorce you, she said. He does not. We're happy together, I said. Well, we'll be happy together too, she said. It would break his heart to leave me, I said. You don't know what you're talking about, she said. I called Robbie. He didn't come. I called him again. Where's your dog now, she said. I'll get him, I said. I went and looked in the bedroom. He wasn't there. I looked in the study. He wasn't there either. I went in the guest bedroom. He wasn't there. I came back into the living room. I can't find him, I said. He's got to be someplace, she said. You didn't let him out when you came in, did you, I said. Definitely not, she said. Well, I can't find him in the house, I said. Robbie, she called. Robbie. He wasn't anywhere. What are we going to do? I said. Let's pray, she said. What, I said? Let's pray for Robbie to come back. It can't hurt, she said. Okay, if you think it might help, I said. We closed our eyes and held hands. Heavenly Father, please bring our Robbie safely back to us, she said. We opened our eyes and there was a camel standing there. Oh no, you've made a mistake, I said. I didn't make a mistake, God did, she said. Come here, Robbie, I said. And the huge animal stepped near and rubbed his snout on my shoulder, just like Robbie always did when he wanted to express his affection for me. He's half yours, I said. The Prayer by James Tate. Government Lake. <laughs>